When working with RAW files where automatic lens corrections are applied, I'll show you a useful technique to obtain slightly more detail or information in your image. This is mostly applicable to images where a wide-angle lens has been used. Longer focal length lenses that require less correction don't tend to work with this technique, although you can always try it. I've opened this RAW file and made some basic edits already. And if I switch to the lens panel, I'll see that corrections are being applied based off this lens profile. However, if I temporarily disable the correction, notice I have a bit more information at the sides here. When I re-enable the correction, all this information is then lost outside of the current crop. This is also what the out-of-camera JPEG looks like. So as it stands, we are not really taking advantage of the lens's full field of view. We can easily get this detail back by reducing the scale value here. With this lens, at its widest focal length, I can go down to 96%. At 95%, I start to see transparent or alpha areas at the top and bottom. So 96% is the lowest I can go before these appear. However, if I didn't mind cropping the image at the top and bottom, I could actually take the scale down further to 93%, which will reveal the maximum amount of detail at the sides. Then I could select the Crop tool with C and just crop in at the top and bottom slightly, then click Develop to commit my edits and take the image through to the main photo persona for further editing. I'll show you this technique again on another image, which is even wider this time. On the Lens panel, I'll disable the corrections again to demonstrate that we are losing some nice detail at the sides, especially the lettering here. I'll re-enable the lens correction, then I'll bring the scale down. And it looks like 96% is the best value to use here. So I'll employ the crop tool again. However, I won't crop away the bottom transparent area. Instead, I'll make sure the output is set to Pixel Layer and not a non-destructive RAW layer option. Then click Develop. In the main photo persona, I'll go to Select, Alpha Range, Select Partially Transparent. This will select the transparent area down here. And with this selection active, I'll then go to Edit, In Paint, and Photo will intelligently fill in this area with surrounding content. I can then deselect with Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows. Now the effectiveness of this technique will of course vary depending on the image, but it is worth trying to see if you can avoid having to crop away additional information. And of course, you can go in and retouch further with the in-painting brush tool. And there we go, a quick tip on how to scale down lens corrections to gain a small amount of extra image information. Thank you for watching.